All right, hello folks, welcome back to another 5-Minute Friday. We're going to be doing a regular eye today, and uh, we're going to attempt to get this done within five minutes. And so thank you for being with us today. And so we're going to, um, as you see here, I've already drawn the eyes. And we just took our knife and we just cut in a, a wedge cut or a V cut. Uh, always considered like a valley in a way. So we've taken our pencil and we've drew uh, out the uh, for the upper eyelid. And so we're going to take our V tool here and we're going to outline again. Now notice I'm using my thumb as a rotation and that helps control the, the blade better. <clears throat> so and then we're going to come in here and do the second one. All right, and then we're going to go down here and show you again. And again, just take your time, go through it. Don't go any deeper than what the tool's made for. All right, and then we're going to do six cuts to each eye to create the eyeball. So there's going to be one here and one here and then one here. So on each corner of the eyeball to create it. So we're going to take our knife here and we're going to take our knife and put a cut here. And then we're going to put a cut here, just like a triangle. Then I angle my knife to the side and pop out that corner. Again, we're going to come to this side here. One cut, two cuts, and three. And there, as you can see, we have an eyeball. Now again, that eyeball is sticking out just a little too far. So all we're going to do is just take the very tip of that blade and go right up in on top of that eyeball and come make a stop cut in there. And then we're going to come in and just hopefully shave those out just a little bit off the eye there. <clears throat> And then we're going to come in and our next to last step here is we're going to put in the bottom lid. And then we're going to come in here and put in the crow's feet, whichever way you'd like for the crow's feet or the happy lines or wrinkles, what are you going to call them? And so um, and then <clears throat> we're going to take our pencil here and always, I've always said before, give your carving some action, make them left, make them looking left or right and whatever, but don't make them look straight on like they're zoned out somewhere. All right, so that there you can come in also too and put in some exaggerating lines for here if you like, and especially if it's an older person or whatever. And so, and we're going to uh, come up here now and create the eyebrow area and doing a sweeping cut. And this is going to on men, we have that bone that runs across the, right above the eyebrow there that stands out further than it does on women. And so we're going to take our V tool and uh, we're going to put in some eyebrow hair. That way gives it just finishes out your piece pretty decent. All right, so that's a regular open eye and uh, always make sure that you have uh, your tools ready to go, buffed and ready to go before you sit down and carve every day. And make sure that at the end of the day that uh, you're satisfied and you've had fun at the, uh, at the end of the day with this. And so hopefully maybe we've made it by five minutes and hopefully you'll enjoy this. And again, practice, practice, practice makes a better carver. And so um, we'd appreciate it if you would like the video and give me some thoughts down on the, on, the, on the comment section if you like us and uh, how we can uh, improve and uh, give me some ideas what you'd like to see. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Happy carving.